This is the chain link gate that I upgraded into a wood gate. I have a lot of projects that I need to take care of around the house, and this was one of them. Earlier in the day, I went and inspected the gate. It divides my property from the main house and the studio where I live. I added the chain link gate years ago. The fence was there, but it didn't have a gate. At the time, my father was becoming ill, and I was taking care of him. And on my off time, I would plant bushes and trees. I added the gate so I wouldn't have to walk all the way around the outside of the property to get, you know, to the main house. I drove to Home Depot to get boards and other items for the gate. So the neighbors have a small dog. She can fit through the crack between the gate and the post. When I first added the chain link gate, I cut the pipes a bit too short so the gap is wide. I'm gonna remedy that today. These fence boards are 155 each. This is my go-to Home Depot. It's close to my house so I know where to find everything. So I got my fence boards, now let's fill up the truck and try to get this gate made before the end of the day. I'm measuring the gate and you can see the neighbor's dog hanging out with me while I work. I had to move that large lamp and post. It was in the way. I'm removing the screws that hold the fence together and the ties that hold the chain link. I finally got the one section of gate off. Now I'll measure the length of pipe I need to close the gap I've had between the post and gate. I'm using this Makita cordless metal bandsaw to cut the pipe. And now I'll remove the old pipe and add the new. I cut it too long though. The gate is hitting the fence post so I need to cut it down some. Not cutting enough is way better than cutting the piece too short. I've had to learn that lesson over again a few times. Oh, I had also added a fence pipe to the post to close the gap. So, so I'll undo the ties that hold that up because we're gonna fix this. Let's cut the fence pipe to length. We'll remove the bottom section and add the new one we cut. Same for the top. So it opens and closes and there's no gap anymore. The gate does sag and it needs a brace. So I'll use the smaller pipe to give it more strength. I'm flattening the end so they'll sit flush when I attach. The neighbor joined in and helped me mark off the drill points. I use the drill bit and a step bit to open the holes. Added the screws and tightened the support pipe up. and the gate swings open perfectly.
I'm ripping this fence board right down the middle. I'm gonna attach these to the top and bottom of the gate. So I can then attach the fence boards to that. I need the boards to be the right length, so I'll measure and cut. I'm using clamps to hold the board to the fence. That way I'm free to work on it with both hands. I'll drill a pilot hole where I can drive the screws through. And now I'll fasten the piece. I'll repeat the same for the bottom. So here I'm staging the fence boards and talking to the neighbor as I work. We'll cut the fence boards to length now. I'm really thinking of doing this to the perimeter of the property. When I get to that, I think that fence will be taller. I like privacy. So now I'll attach the boards. Check out the tools I use and links where you can find them below in the description. Subscribe to keep in touch and more videos as they come out. Catch you next time.